Today, Scott and I have the Jeep pulled into the garage, and we're going to leave the camera rolling while we put on a suspension lift. Hey, all this is Scott from Mudbug Adventures. Margaret's working with me today. So, what we're doing with the, the Mudbug is we're going to put a uh, coil spring lift on it. Currently, it has a, a suspension. It's got a spacer in there, so I don't really get a lot of travel on that or a lot of flex. Um, we're actually going to be lifting the front end three inches and keeping the rear end at two and a half inches to level the Jeep out. Some of the pieces that we're going to use is um, we've got an extra duty sway bar disconnect, extra heavy duty. Um, we're also going to be putting a steering stabilizer on there, a new one. Uh, we're going Falcon on that. Um, we've got the rear what is it, tracker bar for the uh, rear tracker bar to relocate it. Um, I did notice that whoever put the lift on the Jeep before didn't relocate the tracker bar so the axle is slightly it's a half inch off center so it means it's not tracking right going down the road we're going with TerraFlex coil springs and Bill Steen or Bill Stein it can be said either way I think it's actually Bill Steen though maybe it's Bill Stein I don't know but we're going with Bill Steen Bill Stein shocks <laughs> and we're right at 11 inches right now <laughs> So we're going to be moving from a spacer lift to a coil spring lift today. All right, so some of the things we got to do for this, we got to take the sway bar link off and we got to take the, uh, the shock out. We also got to take the uh, brake line and ABS um, sensor off as well so that when we drop this, get the spring out, um, we don't have any, any issues. Um, I'm not going to go through a step-by-step -step process with torque specs and everything. There are a lot of videos online that go through that but we're going to show you some of the stuff that we're doing as we go through this uh, try to make an interesting video there we go yeah those shocks are war look they don't come up shocks in, we've got our coil springs in, we've got the uh, sway bar link, or sway bar quick disconnect extension on, we're not going to uh, attach it yet, That we got to get the, the uh, Jeep back down on level ground with the tires on it and then we'll adjust that, and so that's what we're going to do next, we've got a brake line back on, so we'll uh, raise the axle back up, put the tires on, and then adjust the sway bar link. Okay, we're going to put our stabilizer bars on. We're going to check our measurement and hopefully you guys can see that we're right at 12 inches so that means the front lift gave us an additional inch all right so we're getting ready to do the rear suspension lift uh, we're gonna take the sway bar link off just the uh, top part it's already have it has an extended one from when somebody else did it and get the shocks off okay so we got the shocks off we got the stabilizer uh, rods uh, off we've got the track bar loose and then we took the uh, axle and vacuum tube off, so we're going to go ahead and lower the axle now so we can get the coil springs out. Okay, now we're gonna put our uh, brake line relocation kit. It's gotta, it's gotta drop down a little bit. All right, our final piece to put on today is gonna be this Falcon steering stabilizer. All right, so that was it. We, uh, we put a whole new lift on the, the Jeep. We went with a three inch in the front and a two and a half inch in the back that really leveled the Jeep out so it wasn't nose diving. It had these uh, 
coil spring spacers in before and uh, with the uh, stock spring so now we took these out of course and now it's a full true coil spring suspension lift so we should get more uh, more travel and uh, and flex capabilities out of the Jeep in the long run so we just did some highlights of it I didn't do a technical video but I um, uh, hope you enjoyed it it was just kind of fun for us to do and uh, hopefully it's fun for you guys to watch it as well uh, be sure and hit the subscribe button to join us in all of our adventures and also visit mudbugadventures.com